everyone, it's Joey from the Wildwood Video Archive and the Wildwood Boardwalk Facebook page. And right now, it's currently around 10 o'clock in the morning here on the boardwalk. We're outside Mariner's Pier because today is a really, really fun event that I want to share with you guys. They started a few years ago, but this year they added a second event. Today is the Doggy Dash and Splash. Now, before I tell you what it is, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's go. Yesterday was the last day for Raging Waters here at Mariner's Pier, and so it's actually closed for humans to go in the water park. So what Maury started a few years ago was that they would open up the water park for the dogs. Now what's really cool is, is that your admission ticket into the water park for your dog um, not only includes them to pretty much go around the lazy river and a couple other things, playing the uh, activity pools with some balls, um, part of the proceeds actually go to a great organization down here called Team Foster. What Team Foster is, is an organization that pairs up veterans with puppies. Isn't that kind of cool? Now there are two events taking place today. This is the first year for the Doggy Dash. And what that is, it's either a 5K or a one mile run that you could do with your dog on the beach, which is pretty cool. And then the second event is the Splash, the Doggy Splash. And what I think is cool about that event is that they have full rain in the whole water park. Humans aren't allowed in the water, but the dogs are. And let me tell you, the dogs, look they're having a blast. So I'm gonna walk back there right now and film it for you guys. I hope you enjoy. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Isn't it fun to see the dogs playing in the water park? Right now we're at Shipwreck Shaw's, so it's fun to see them run down the slide. I gotta get a video of this, it's way too cute. I'm quickly realizing I probably should've worn my bathing suit. Oh well. Who's having more fun, me or the dogs? Because I'm having fun playing with them. This is so much fun, I love this event. Now even though it is a dog event, they still have the lifeguards here on duty because you know, obviously people are here, they could potentially get hurt. Um, but there's still lifeguards on duty walking around making sure everything's nice and safe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over to uh, the Lazy River. I heard they have a little section over there for the dogs to play in. much fun to play with them in the Lazy River. Anyway, we're going to continue our walk around. Okay. 
Now, throughout the entire place, Maurice has snacks for the dogs, water for the dogs, and a ton of toys for them to play with. I mean, look at them swim. Isn't this amazing? You should definitely take your dog here next year. That was the Doggy Dash and Splash. Now, this was just the first session. If you ran the race in the morning, you were able to come in over here and actually get the first session. There are multiple sessions throughout the day to, until 4 p.m. Uh, so that's one great thing about this event. It's throughout the entire day. You don't have to actually do the race and have to do it. Now, as we leave the water park, let me tell you, it's not the end of the event. On the very back end, right behind the water park, they have an entire swimming pool for competitions where dogs can jump and they get rated on how far they can jump. It's sponsored by Blue Buffalo, which is a dog food company. Um, but it's really cool to kind of like sit here and kind of watch the dogs jump and they see how far they can jump and they do a couple of tricks and things like that. So let me turn the camera around and kind of show it to you because it's not every day you can see this. How cool is that guys? Isn't it kind of cool to see what the furthest jump these dogs can jump? And so far I think the winner we've seen so far has been 22 feet. I know I can't jump 22 feet. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you later.